everybody, welcome back to Fall in the Field 2020. My name is Marina and I'm going to be one of your instructors today during our herpetology survey. So feel free to pause this video in between sections so that you can fill in and graph your own data. So what we're going to do here is look at our herpetology data sheet and our species that we observed while we were out on our adventure. So let's take a closer look. I filled it in already, but you're going to fill it in when you do your own herpetology survey. So this first species that we observed was the Western fence lizard, and we saw 11 Western fence lizards. The second species we saw was a common garter snake. That was my favorite one. And we saw two of those, so cool. And then the third species that we saw was a small chirping frog that hopped really fast into the water. And we figured out that that is a Pacific chorus frog. And we saw three of those, very exciting. Okay, so now we're going to transfer this data from our data sheet onto a spreadsheet and to make a graph. And so there's a few ways to do this. Uh, first, you can make your own graph on a piece of paper, you know, on a graph paper or straight onto, you can draw it onto your data sheet right here, or you can make it in Microsoft Excel or also in Google Sheets. So I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Excel to graph your data. So let's go ahead and do that. So first pull up your your uh, spreadsheet and I went ahead and typed it in already. Our species observed down here and then also the number observed. So we saw 11 Western fence lizards. We saw two common garter snakes and three Pacific chorus frogs. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your mouse and highlight all of the boxes that you wrote into with your data. Come up to the second tab that says insert and you're going to insert a column graph. And there's some different shapes here. You can choose whatever one you like. Click on that and there's a graph. So we do need to change a few things, especially the chart title here. So that's not our title number observed. What we want is our herpetology survey. Okay, and now we need some titles on our x-axis and our y-axis. So we can go over here to layout in our chart tools. We can go over to axis titles and we can do the horizontal axis first, which is our x-axis. Click on title below. And then we're going to type in species observe. And then our vertical axis and we can type in number observed. Okay, and there you have it. There's our graph. So we saw 11 western fence lizards, so many more than the snake and the frog. So there is our herpetology survey graph at Rogue River Preserve. Now what you can do is you can copy and paste this graph straight into your herpetology data sheet or you can print it out separately if you want. So in our next video, we're going to talk about what this graph and this data means. So I'll meet you back in the outdoor classroom soon. Thanks for joining me.